I had I scabies in, in, yeah, in, that's an, in college. I think I did. <laughs> that might have been. Well, no, what happened was I uh, I was I went to St. Joe's. Uh-huh. I can't remember if this was before I got thrown out or my dorm or not, but of course I'm, I'm in the gym every day. Yeah. And the gym was, was awful there. Like they never cleaned it, it was gross. And the, the kids I didn't like, just was, you know. So I'd be in the gym for a few hours a day, and I, one day I like, looked down at my hands, and I had this dark red. I didn't know what it was. And I was like, what in the hell is that? Oh my God. And then over the course of the next couple of days, I proceeded to get the single worst rash I have ever had. Mm-hmm. It was, I had it everywhere. I had it on my feet. I remember it was on my feet. Gosh. And uh, it was, as the day progressed, it would intensify and get worse. And it, I, it was like someone held a lighter to your skin. It was, un, it was unreal. And it, it would get worse at night. Oh I couldn't sleep. It got to the point where I couldn't sleep for several days because I don't know why. It would sort of calm down during the day a little bit and then at night it would get worse. Mm-hmm. I no idea. And I was losing my mind because I didn't sleep for three days. It was so bad. I was going crazy. I remember I went to the, like the, the office there at St. Joe's and just like they were trying to cover up everything else, like the girls getting raped by the basketball team mm-hmm. and things like that, they're trying to cover that up. Yeah. So they're also trying to cover up the outbreak in the gym, but the gym probably should have been run over with a bulldozer because of whatever happened. And they're like, well, you sure you didn't, you didn't, you didn't do this or you didn't do that? No, 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 I went to the gym here. That's how I got this. You know, they tried to deflect the attention away. Yeah, so one night I was losing my mind and I just went to, what I did was, because I, I literally didn't sleep for probably three days and I was completely cr- like cracking mentally. I went to 7-Eleven up the street in this beat up car. I used to drive to St. Joseph's because I didn't want to drive my Mustang. Right. So I would just, at night when I was drunk, I drive, would drive that car around and I would just run it into things when I was mad because I didn't, I wasn't, I didn't really like St. Joe's. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you one good story about that too. So, um, but anyway, so I went to 7-Eleven, probably ran into a car on my way there on purpose. I got these like bags of ice and I kept dropping them in the trunk of the car. And I remember there was these cops there. I had the trunk open and these cops were there at 7-Eleven. And they're looking at me like, and I'm walking out with one bag of ice, two bags of ice, and I'm just looking at them like, because they're kind of like, you all right, dude? It's like, no, I'm not, I'm not. And so I go back to where I was living at the time called Lancaster Court, and uh, I, I walked in, and I dropped the ice, like I was just dropping the bags of ice on the floor, and I laid in, I laid in the bags of ice, like I made an ice bath for myself. Oh my God. Because you know, because it's the only thing, and like that was the first night in about four days that I actually slept. Because oh I eventually passed out. Because I guess because my body was numb, yeah. and I'm probably in the brink of hypothermia too. Yeah. But that was the first day I slept for like four days. That was the yeah. worst thing. I had scars all over my body. Oh my god. From from that for a few like for like a year. That's nasty. Yeah, it was bad.